I wanted to chat with you about something that's been bringing me a lot of joy lately, and it's this super fun game called Fiona's Farm. I'm a person who just needs to shut my brain off at night before I go to bed, and one of my favorite ways to do that is play a relaxing game that I can just sort of escape to. And that's why I love this game so much. It's about the main character, Fiona, who recently separated from her fiance and returns to her hometown and is faced with the challenge of reviving her family's farm from the aftermath of a natural disaster. She's on a mission to clean up her family's farm and she discovers a hidden underground lab, which unravels some family secrets and makes her wanna find out if her parents are still alive after their sudden disappearance. On this journey, you'll solve blast puzzles, unlock energy, decorate the farm, and embark on an adventurous journey. It's like the perfect blend of quality blast puzzles, but has a storyline rich in mystery, excitement, and romance. It's really easy to navigate and understand, and I love that the game feels challenging without being defeating. I also love that there aren't any ads, so you can enjoy it with no interruptions, and this game is great to play at any point during the day or anywhere because it doesn't require Wi-Fi. I love this game so much, and I know you will too. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check out Fiona's Farm and download it for free, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. It is available in the App Store and on Google Play. Thank you so much to Fiona's Farm for partnering with me on today's video. Welcome back to Building in Beauty. We are gonna be doing some more flooring today. Are you surprised? <laughs> we have been on a flooring marathon doing this entire house, but we are having so much fun. And today I'm tackling uh, one of our spare bedrooms. That's actually our, what we like to call our dog bedroom because this is where all of our doggies sleep and eat and hang out and relax. So. This is their space. We already started flooring um, a little bit in here the other night. My brother Cody and I had so much fun and we were able to make some good progress, but today I'm hoping to finish flooring this entire space. So we have a lot of work to do. Let's do this. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is not break this piece. If you guys have been following along, then you have seen us do a couple cuts like this. And when we get down to something this small, it's really weak. And so we're trying not to break this because yeah. it's so sad when you go through so many cuts and then you break the board. Like the, cut to like, last time. Like recently when I <laughs> did this huge cut and then I just let go of it and it fell and broke. And I was like, great. <laughs> so um, we are just propping this up on these little boards here to try to give it some support because it needs to hang off so I can get the saw in there. We're doing some makeshift things. <laughs> Now the real question is, did I measure right? Is it gonna fit? <laughs> and will it tap into place without breaking? Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of real It's like, oh, I cut the wrong side. <laughs> that happens every now and then too. <laughs> Check it out, it fit. Thank goodness, I didn't wanna have to do that again. We started doing the floors we had not planned on doing this portion of the house so everything that we're doing over here to me feels like well i wasn't planning on that i wasn't planning on that i wasn't planning on that when you get to a point in the project where you're like i didn't plan on any of this but here we are we've arrived and doors are being removed now the closet's being removed and it's like things the more you remove the more work you have to do to put it all back together it's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, I'm trying to just go with the flow right now. <laughs> go with the flow. Go with the flow. So um, I think it's gonna be, I think we have to kind of tear this out because any time that we've had to put the flooring like underneath a frame or something like that, 
it is super time consuming yeah. and super difficult. And so it's just like everything just keeps having to be removed and then I'm gonna figure out how to put it all. I know how to put it all back together. It's just more like, wow, let me, let's take all this out to just yeah. put it back in. Okay. The great news is we'll have our floors for a really long time. So we won't have to do this for <laughs> a really long time again, right? <laughs> There's an I, again? <laughs> I say you mean again, never. Like, we'll never, never listen, have to do this. Never say never. That's what I say. So whenever Mark and I are doing projects, I must you. I've tried to tell this. So are you done? <laughs> So, what I was trying to say. No, I just feel like so scared sometimes when you're doing things because I'm like, I don't want you to get hurt because I just love you. Oh, I just love you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so we're trying to take this out in one piece so we can just plop it back in there. You know what I mean? That's the idea. It might be more work than what it's worth. One less thing to freaking build. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm sure there are some of you who are going to be like, keep everything, reuse as much as you can. And then there's going to be others of you who are like, get rid of that ugly situation, ugly doors, ugly trim, all of it. But if you've been with me for a while, then you know a fresh coat of paint does a lot. And so everything is already like built and good. I don't mind everything that we have. I actually have a makeover plan that I'm excited to share with you guys later. So I wanna keep as much as we can, repurpose it, saves money, gives me some fun projects that I enjoy doing. And I think it's gonna be really pretty. So just hang with me, it's gonna be good. I feel like all I do is vacuum and sweep and vacuum and sweep and dust and then dust some more and then vacuum some more and then it's just like i cannot keep up if you've gone through a renovation then you know it's just like this never-ending cycle of cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and it's just dusty and dirty the entire time Babe, I know I'm getting, I'm making progress. I think I think that's too big of a gap. You think that's too big? But my eyes, I mean, I wear glasses. You don't. So well, maybe I'm all. I went and up. got a. I have a spare piece of baseboard. This is not the color that our baseboards will be. This is from our office. <laughs> so I just have this little spare piece. If I ever have a question, I just put it up. Make sure that it is in fact covered. And actually, I have a pretty good amount that it is going to be covered. So, um, yeah, our wall kind of goes. It starts going out. It's not, our wall is not super straight. So look how good it's gonna look though. I'm excited. Maybe I should do the baseboards this color. <laughs> Maybe. Do you think? Do you think they should all be green? Yeah. It's such a pretty color green. I mean, two tone house. Yeah. It's a thing. Hashtag totally. two tone house. Totally. <laughs> This is my favorite type of tool, is the kind that is um, dead. It's a really unique brand. Um, you can only find it on Amazon and it's called Dead Tools. And um, it's my favorite because when the battery's dead, it doesn't work. This is a big deal. These rows are monumental in this project. Really, why? Because it means that we have officially laid from one end of the house to the other. But didn't we technically lay from one end to the other when we laid from the back of the living room into the doorway? That doesn't count. <laughs> this is this is big. This I is a long. I guess we didn't technically lay. We didn't do the uh, the steps yet. So yeah, this is the first. This is a long row. Yeah, it's very yeah. long. <sighs> it feels good. 
it also feels like we have a long way to go. <laughs> Things not to do for safety. <laughs> Play with hammers. <laughs> Don't I always hurt. worry. I always worry Don't that hurt I'm gonna Bishop. accidentally get Bishop's toes. Don't, and he's gonna hate us forever. Don't hurt Bishop. I, know. I actually do like um I know we're I was talking earlier about like how I worry about Mark's safety. I also worry about Bishop's safety. Um, I always try to make sure he's wearing safety glasses, he has a mask, he's just as protected as we are because I do worry about him. I might feel worse if Bishop got hurt <laughs> than you. I feel so, I would feel so bad. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> hey, I get it. I can't videotape, so you know. <laughs> they can recast me. It's hard to hire another Bishop. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's special. That's very true. Well, thank yes. you. <laughs> I wanted to share a quick tip with you guys that I love and is so simple, but I think often like not thought of. So what I will do whenever I have to set something up on a table saw where I'm doing a rip cut, I will make my mark of what my measurement is going to be. I just put a little mark there and I actually just line it right up with the edge of the blade, set my fence here, lock it in. And I just give it like a double check because sometimes when you lock the fence in, it kind of moves it just a little bit. So I never trust my table saw measurements here because you're going to lose some material with the blade. So I just go off of the blade and I go off of my mark. I don't trust this, unfortunately, but hey, I have a good solution. It's super easy and it works every single time. There's something so weird about this flooring and it's just whatever material it's made of. Whenever I'm using it on the table saw and I have the shop back hooked up, it shocks me. Like the table itself like shocks my fingers and sometimes it just freaks me out because when you're using the table saw, like that's the last thing you wanna feel is like being shocked in your fingertips. So I don't know why it does that. It's just whatever material it's made out of. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just a weird sensation. <laughs> If you guys are doing your own flooring like this, I have found that one of my favorite little buys is this tiny little pull bar. It's so thin that you can get it right underneath or like right to the side of that board. And it helps you to just get that board locked in in a tight spot like this. Of course you could use the like pull bar as well, but I kind of just, this is not so heavy. It's not so like cumbersome as that. I still have to use that all the time. Don't get me wrong, but there's something just really nice about this little tool. Love it. Love it. So, don't stop, live free. Can you match this energy? Let's go. Get wild with me. Can you match this energy? Let's go. Don't stop, live free. Can you match this energy? Let's go. Get wild with me. Can you match this energy? Okay, let's check it out. See how I did. Oh, looking promising. Shoot, I might need to come like wider. It's because I'm underneath the drywall. Does that make sense? Yeah. So are we all the way over yeah. there? Mm -hmm. Can we scrape that drywall down? No. All right, then just take a little bit off that side and this side. Yeah. And we should be good. So you just have to take a little off the sides. Okay, let me just try one more thing. Oh, wow, never mind, don't shave it. <laughs> I was like, I'm determined, I will do it. No shave. No. <laughs> never shave. <laughs> do you want to explain to me um, I'm trying to tell your... you what to take off. It says poop, frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the trash side. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Frowny. Love it. <laughs> it says poop. <laughs> you can't even read it. <laughs> Literally, that's the tiniest poop ever. <laughs> it's a rabbit size. <laughs> it's the next day, and the 
dog room. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to call it. It's our spare bedroom, but it's our dog room to us. It's their bedroom. Um, it looks so good. I love the floors. Oh my gosh, I love the floors. It's amazing how like with every board that we lay, it still is like, wow, look how good it looks. Wow, look how good it looks. Here we are like almost done and I still feel that way every single time that we, yeah, it's like, wow, look at that. This section is done. It, it continues to be exciting. I hope that you guys are loving it so far. I know this has been so many videos. I've been trying to do a couple projects in between to kind of mix it up so it's not just like, Flooring, 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 flooring. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. But I did want to answer the question because um, some of you have been asking, hey, where are the dogs during this? We just let them roam the streets. <laughs> no. We just, we let them out the front door and said, come back, come back later. when you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. And uh, <laughs> no, they've, they've been in a mixture of sleeping in the backyard because it is so nice It's out, still outside. really nice. And sleeping yeah. in our room. We have an elderly dog, Gracie's getting older. And She's, so we yeah. kind of let her pick because she just has a hard time getting up. And so sometimes she doesn't want to leave our room. Sometimes, sometimes she, she doesn't, doesn't want to leave the bed. Yeah, yeah, she, she doesn't, doesn't want to come go. inside. Yeah, sometimes she just wants to stay out there, so. Yeah, so we just, we just, that's like our routine with our dogs. Like we just let them do whatever they want. <laughs> Honestly, it's their house and we just, <laughs> we just live here. Their dog room's gonna get done soon yeah, anyways, Yeah, soon right? their so. room will be done, so. <laughs> <laughs> Soon their bedrooms get a little makeover. <laughs> so um, today we are working on the guest bedroom and I'm really excited to put flooring in this room. I also love our guest bedroom. It's one of my favorite rooms in our whole house because I redid that room uh, a while ago. It's almost probably two years ago now, but I still love it. It's so peaceful in there and I just think the floors are really going to add so much yeah. to the room. So anyway. We have to clear out the room first and figure out where the heck to put all that stuff. We were just joking that home renovation, it's a lot like playing Tetris. That's all you do. You just move stuff, move around, stuff around. And then move it back. And move and it back move and then it move it again. again. And, and then, then one more time. And then 10 years later, when it's out of style. And then you move it again. It again. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. spare flooring under here oh <laughs> I forgot I totally forgot about that wonder how much we have under there quite a bit really <laughs> oh wow didn't even have that nailed in. Did I do that? I don't think you did. I did. That's a me thing. Is it you pin nail? Yeah, it's just pin nails. Hey, that goes to show how good pin nails work. Okay. Yes, it does. It, we had never had a single issue with it. Nope. <laughs> don't need to do full on roof nail. That's for sure. Oh. Oh, you okay? Yeah. You didn't get hurt? No, I'm okay. Okay. I just broke Mark's knife on accident. It oh, literally, it's, it's it an interchangeable blade. I know, but it just yeah. completely. That one's not out. meant for cutting baseboards. No, it's not. I guess I'll go get the correct one. Yep. <laughs> okay, back to this bad boy. This thing is more fun to play with than anything. <laughs> when I put it down, down, don't play around, around. I put it down, down, I can do it all. I never stress, I never settle for less, never settle for less. Now I'm gonna take it all. So sensational, wild creatures, I tame them all. And sometimes that happens. I know what you wanna see. Let's go. Doing this imaginary. Gonna be a fantasy. Easy like one, two, three. Yeah, it's easy like that. So our experience 
experience the other day with taking out the door frame went really well, I think. I think it's gonna be fine to put it back in, but what we were talking about is that maybe we didn't actually need to remove the whole center part. Like if we really wanted, we could just cut around that and put like a little piece of trim. Yeah. So that is an option. Um, yeah, that might be the easier option. The only thing is, is that if we wanted to renovate these closets, because these are old closets, and sometimes you need more storage than was than originally what? built in the house. Exactly. Yeah. So if we ever had to get rid of this, well, then we have a strip that would in be the middle of the closet. Cut out. Yeah. So, so like, that's kind of what we're trying to consider, and it's hard. But at the same time, it's like, well. It's not like this wood's in bad shape. We could use it to kind of help build out the next closet build. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, well, I mean, we could just remove it. When are we, are we ever gonna remodel this? Yeah, it's just kind of hard to say. So what we're thinking is that we're still gonna remove the door casing and we're just gonna lay the flooring to this point and figure it out and make a decision when we get to that point. Yeah. You know, the thing is guys, um, we are, this is our first time doing this, huh? Yeah. This is our first time laying flooring in an entire house. So yeah. we're learning as we go to and kind of just experimenting and figuring out what works best. And then we like to give you guys our recommendations, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Well, if you want a tip for how to put in doors, but um, make them easier to remove later, just don't nail them back into the wall. Like I'm cutting, all, I'm spending all this time cutting nails to pull out this door when we right. could just space the door. Exactly. Sure. Sure, honey. <laughs> and then yeah. it'll just free flow. And then check like, it out. It's like a draw Whee! gate. You just bring the door down. Oh, I love that. Go into the room and then bring oh, the door back up. It could be a new style. Right? Yeah. Drawbridge door. Yes. Love it. So the first few rows in the guest bedroom proved to be a challenge. My goodness, it's always when you think the next space will be so easy, it's gonna be a piece of cake, and then it turns out not to be that way. <laughs> so anyway, we got through it. It was difficult, it was frustrating there for a little bit, but we got through it. And now hopefully the rest of the room will go like super fast and be easy peasy. It's exciting because with this room done on this side of the house, I think we're done over here. We have the kitchen, laundry room, and one little half bath left to do. We are gonna be saving our master bedroom for later because we have a whole renovation planned for our master bedroom that I do not wanna put floors in there because there's gonna be so much demo and so much work. I just don't wanna do that yet. So if you guys have been with us for a long time, you probably heard our plans for that space. It was so long ago, I don't even know. We've had that, it's been like something we wanted to do for I don't even know, like a year and a half probably. And so I'm excited to tackle that space, but we are saving the flooring for much later down the road. So um, yeah, once this room is done, I think we're done over here. I'm still debating if I wanna put any flooring for now in our other guest bathroom. We tore out all the tile. If you guys saw that in the last episode, we tore out all the tile in there. It's just concrete floors and I'm just, I don't know. I haven't decided because we also need to remodel that bathroom. So I don't know if I want to put flooring in there temporarily. I'm thinking about it. So anyway, it's like every day, the more I think about it, the more I just want to tear it apart. But I want to do our bathroom first before I do that one. So I don't know, the struggle. The struggle, that's what you get. It's kind of what happens when you move into a full fixer upper. It's like every space needs touch, but I've been so grateful that our bathrooms have been in working condition and working order for like, it's held us over for now four years. You know, it's been okay. It's not glamorous, but it's been working. So anyway, we're gonna get back to laying floors and I can't wait to get this room put back together. Finally, 
finally, after all this time of cutting, we figured out that we should oh, put yeah, our should. little helping hand right here. And then that and way, when you're making the in out cuts, yeah. instead of running it down the table, you right. can cut it right you can here put and it right it's supported. There. So much you're not better. Too much weight on it. Why didn't we think of this before? Because you have to finish a project in order to feel like you actually learned everything about it. Exactly. And to get it right, you have to finish it to get it right. We always yeah. say, by the end, you have it all figured oh, out. Man. You know? By the end, you have it all <laughs> so, figured out. I don't know. This is not called a helping hand. We call it our helping hand because it's like a spare set of hands. Um, but yeah, this little tool is incredible. I'll link one for you guys because I use it all the time, but ha, ah, so much easier. Looks like the state of Idaho. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think this is, is this the longest piece we've had to cut like this so far? Um, I feel like it is. We could have gone see. longer. <laughs> You're gonna need to pull it in down it there. It looks good, yes! Yes, we did it! Should I keep this spacer right here? Since yeah. we're gonna be tapping mm -hmm. up against it. All right. So that, you're gonna need That's to amazing. wiggle it in. Okay, this one just like felt tricky, but then it turned out not to be tricky. Yeah. Because we were looking well, at it. Well, because you have such a good eye. No. <laughs> no, because we're... And you're so good at measuring. Ha ha, don't say that yet. It turned out to be just like every other piece, but it just felt tricky moving into the closet here. So, is it gonna be like piece of cake? Yeah. Okay. Bingo. Like, Look sometimes that. it looks like an obstacle, and then it's not. <laughs> it's like, okay. And it couldn't be tighter in. Or we've just laid almost the entire floor by now and we kind of know what we're doing. Only slightly know what we're doing. Not that much, but like slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. So we give up, Ooh, my hair's uh, we are tired of doing that room and all the floors, so we just quit. Oh, just we give up on the flooring. <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. I thought you were like giving up on me. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm done with you. All no. right. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, we are stopping for the day. We, we're hoping to finish the room, but we're gonna stop because uh, Mark was looking at the weather because all of a sudden it started like being super windy outside. So he checked the weather and it looks yeah. like it's gonna pour. It looks so, like it's gonna rain. So. Yeah. So with our saws on the back patio and everything, we had to like just pack everything up and be done for the day, which we're not really mad about because today, we're tired. Today was some strange cuts. It was, it was we, just. They were easy, strange cuts, but they were time consuming cuts. Yeah. And then we got most of the floor done. Tomorrow is gonna be really simple. Yeah, we'll get it done. We're, we're, we're gonna done. get there. Slowly but surely, we are getting <laughs> there. So anyway, we're gonna end today's video here. I just want to remind you guys to check out Fiona's Farm. I will leave a link in the description below for you to download the game. It is so much fun. Like I said, I absolutely love it. I know you will too. So thank you for being here. Please make sure that you are subscribed. We love you and we will see you in the next video. Bye.